Hey, what's up, day walkers and fellow travelers of the night? Welcome back to another episode of Seek at Night, and we are going to be opening up a blaster box from Marvel Annual 23 to 24. This is a new series that just came out, and these just released just a couple days ago, and we were lucky enough to get some off of the Upper Deck website. So thank you, Upper Deck. This is awesome, and they shipped them really quickly, so there was no issues or anything. We got these actually early, and uh, and Blue is out of it right now. Uh, we have not been feeling well lately, so you could probably hear a little bit in my voice. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to blast through these blaster boxes. We got one here, and we got two more episodes. So we have a total of three and we're going to open them up, and then if any more come in, I told Blue he can record them, and we would love to have that footage so we could share it on with you guys. So I don't know if we'll make shorts out of it or what we'll do, but uh, you know, keep an eye out for more of these after these three boxes. But we are hunting for symbiotes, and for Blue, we're hunting for a couple of Moon Knight cards. We were able to get the black and white canvas of the Moon Knight base card in the hobby box that we got, uh, which we just opened the other day. And now we have these, and there's some Blue parallels that are exclusive, I think, to just these packs. And these run for $24.99. Like I said, you can get them on the Upper Deck website. We'll put a link down below. But you can also get these at local retail stores like Walmarts and Targets, I believe. So these are out there and they're good value. I think, like I said, 20 to 25 bucks, I think, depending on where you get them from. Uh, but usually around 25 and you get six packs inside with five cards each. That's 30 cards total for, like I said, 25 bucks. It's a good deal. And they have different characters on them. So yeah, these are very cool. I'm excited to open these. I did like having the symbiote ones, but uh, I do like this artwork too. And we're big fans of Nightcrawler actually in this household. So awesome. Pack number one. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see what we get. Again, we are trying to complete a base set of this too. So any cards we got that we didn't get before, that would be a total bonus. We would love to have those for our base set, but uh, we'll take anything at this point. And we're definitely looking for symbiotes and really cool characters like the Moon Knight cast. So first up, Mr. Sinister, new card. We do not have this one, I believe. We didn't find him in the hobby box. We did get a lot of Sins of Sinister cards, though. So let us know if you're trying to collect those. Let us know. Hey, check this out. Wreck Wrap Star Rookie card. That's pretty cool. Um, this character first appeared in the Dark Web storyline, and I think uh, this is McGinnis's artwork on it. And I don't know, I'm kind of mixed on this character. Uh, so if anyone out there is a Wreck Wrap collector... Uh, this is obviously the name Parker backwards, kind of like Bizarro uh, with Superman. He's just a, a reverse version of Superman. This guy is a reverse version of Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, pretty neat character. Cool that he showed up in a recent, uh, you know, like he showed up in that event and became kind of a fan favorite. Like some fans are really digging on him. So if you're out there and you're one of those fans, hit us up if you need that Star Rookie card. Um, this is epic, though. <laughs> We're hunting for symbiotes and boom. Boom. There's one of those blue variants we were talking about that are exclusive to these packs. And we got Venom. So, dude, this one's for us, Blue. Check that out. Again, uh, we're going to sleeve this. I think I already got a fingerprint on it. We'll have to clean it later um, if that's the case. But very cool. Don't want to get any more on it. And we want to top load this because, like I said, we're... We're hunting for symbiotes, and we got the base Venom in blue and green now. Um, or, you know, we had green in the last box, and we got blue here. So, boom, awesome. We'll tuck him to the side. Check out our Cyclops card. I don't think we got him in the hobby box either. And we got Sage. So, very cool. All right, good first pack. Yeah, not bad. Um, and we still got five more, so let's keep going. And let me know if you're collecting these out there or if you're skipping this set or, you know, whatever your, you know, collecting needs are for this. I'd love to hear if you're looking for certain characters. Um, you know, hit us up. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know. Oh, Scythe Scythia? Um, Scythia? That's pretty cool. She looks awesome. Like a total warrior there. Uh, all right. Next card. Oh, dude, look at that blade. That is awesome artwork. And so far, a lot of new cards towards our base set, so that's great. Uh, we're going to skip the hit for a second. We're going to go with Miles Morales, another card we didn't have before. Really cool. This is a different costume of his, but really neat looking. And what's behind this? Oh, our blue is Firestar. So is there a blue in every pack? We got the green of her, too. So maybe we can make a little set there and find a Spider-Man is Amazing Friends collector and uh, help you out with your collection. So let's put her to the side. I'm going to sleeve her in a second. And then our canvas of She-Hulk. Whoa, that's cool with Jen and She-Hulk there. That is really cool. Um, and this is a tier one. We actually had a tier four in our other box. But again, I didn't look up. 
Um, that just we just filmed that <laughs> just like two days ago, so uh, I haven't looked up anything on that yet. So I have to see what tier four and tier one. Obviously, there's a difference, but I don't know if it's just a difference based on characters or if it's like you know based on more rare. Um, I haven't looked that up yet. All right, so we got Cap in the back. Oh, Elsa Bloodstone. This is great. Um, they she just had her. MCU debut in the Werewolf by Night show that I personally love. Captain America, like I said, he was in the back there because we have something there. I don't know what that is yet. Um, Echo, cool, very awesome. Um, yeah, that's good artwork for her too. Our blue hit is the Maker. No way, dude. This is literally repeating the the hobby box because we got the green of him in the hobby box, just like we did Firestar and Venom. So that's awesome. I'll, I'll leave him here in a second. And then what is behind Elsa Bloodstone? Oh, it's a Captain America Cold War. All right. So again, I don't really have any interest in this subset, and neither does Blue. So we're going to be putting those aside. If anyone needs Captain America Cold War cards, let us know. Um, yeah, and uh, let us know if you've read that comic, too. Uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I haven't read it. I'm not too familiar with what they've been doing with Cap in the past couple years. Um, but I love the character and I like Sam too. So, you know, whatever they're working on, I don't know what's happening. We, we had to, um, we like severely washed our hands and everything. Like I said, we're not doing well. So we like severely sterilized ourselves. And I can't tell if it's because of that, that our fingers are slippy, slippery or something, but <laughs> something's going on. I can't get these packs open. I can't get any traction on the plastic. Um, but Hey, look at this. That's a really good shot. Actually, the stuff Jed McKay has done with that character in the past, like couple years has been a lot of fun. They really made some fun stories with Felicia. Like she was stealing stuff during King and Black, uh, you know, for Doctor Strange. And then, I mean, there was so many cool things they've done with her. So yeah, very cool to get that. Oh, hey, we got Rasputin the fourth. Awesome. That's cool artwork too. Really neat looking. All right, let's see what our blue card is. Oh, it's not a blue card. Oh, Omen. What is up? We have a silver sparkle of Omen. Awesome. We got that Silver Sparker Wolverine in that first hobby box. So uh, if anyone out there still needs it, you know, let us know. Oh, and we do get a blue. So another another blue card. So yeah, I guess every pack we got Domino. That's really cool. And Mary Jane Watson is our final card for this. So very cool. Domino, great character. And I need to get more sleeves um, for because I got the other box here. I figured, you know what, while I'm have the energy, which I don't have a ton of. I'm going to go ahead and just film all these back to back. So uh, hopefully I'll get these edited while we're on bed rest, which I think is in our immediate future. Um, and we will uh, try to get these out to you guys very, very soon. So, all right. I already seen what the back card is, but our front card is Danny Catch. Dude, we got Johnny Blaze in that last hobby box. Look at us completing that collection. So, yeah, they've been torturing Danny Catch. In this new run, I feel like that's always Danny Ketch's kind of thing is that every time they do bring him back, they're always doing something with him that I'm like, oh man, like this guy can't catch a break. <laughs> He's like um, the Arsenal of the Marvel Universe sometimes. Like Arsenal is one of those characters at DC they always mess with because they can, you know, he's not Green Arrow. And I feel like that's how, what they do with Danny Ketch. They always lean back to Johnny Blaze being the main Ghost Rider and Dan, <laughs> something's always, you know, happening to him. So yeah, he got experimented on and tortured a bit, but um. Still, yeah, this is around the time the Benjamin Percy book, though, started to lose us soon after this. Like, not that we didn't like some of what they were doing, and we don't, it's not that we mind when they try new things with characters like Dan. Um, as long as they keep them around, that's all we care about. But uh, the run got a little stale to us, so we ended up dropping the book. But uh, still, that's very cool. Um, oh, look at that. That is awesome. Spine-tingling Spider-Man, number one spot. That's cool. This is a good shot of Spider-Man. Awesome. Oh, this, so Idol, a, Idol Alabaster. That's the one we got the canvas card that was a tier four in our hobby box. So, uh, yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that. Whoa, Jean Grey, what is up? She looks awesome. Very cool. And our last card, Wreck Wrap. There you go. <laughs> um, is that the same art that was on the other? I think so. Because um, the other one was just a variant, right? So it wasn't like a... That's weird. We didn't get any Summer of Symbiotes in this, and we didn't get, uh, at least so far, we have one pack left, and we didn't get any Dark Web-specific cards. So uh, that's uh, that's a little concerning. Uh, maybe there'll be, you know, there's none in this, and there'll be 
all in the next two boxes, hopefully. All right, so what do we have here? Last pack magic. Let's go, let's go. Dude, okay, we're looking for symbiotes, and we just found the god of symbiotes. This is Null, who is making his appearance this weekend uh, in the new Venom movie. So, um, yeah, very awesome. That's cool. We need him for the base set, but we also just need him for our symbiote character collection from this series. And then look at that. Dude, Chasm. So again, I'm going to keep an eye out. If we get duplicates of Chasm or Hallow's Eve or some of these other characters, our friend Randy, don't worry, I'll keep you in mind, dude. Um, if any of these we get duplicates of, you're, I'm going to hit you up and see what you need. Lord Inu in the canvas. And let's see what our blue card will be. Black Panther. Awesome. And we got a cool variant of him. I think the canvas in the last, the hobby box so that is really cool to get that. And then our last card here is Joseph. All right. And I think that's the Magneto Josephs too, I think. So um, maybe. I don't know. Let me double check that because I know there was that version. Yeah, Joseph was dead. Yep. And, but he wasn't Magneto. Yeah, okay. So that is the Joseph from the 90s that they kind of brought back in some of the X-Men stuff they were doing recently. So um, and because I, I think there was a moment where they did like the death of Magneto and the return of Magneto. And he could have been part of one of those storylines, too. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. So we got our main base cards here. A couple canvases and, and stuff and inserts in there. But we got blue variants of Black Panther, Idol, Alabaster, Domino. We got the Silver Sparkle of Omen. We got the Maker, Firestar, and Venom. Dude, that is great. So very cool. We'll put this with our Venom collection for sure. And we'll try to find a home for this one and the green one. Maybe we'll pair them up. And, uh, and try to sell them. If anyone's looking for them, though, hit us up before we put them on our eBay store. And like I said, I'll try to get these up as fast as possible. So thank you so much. Let me know what you think of these. If you want to buy a box yourself, I encourage it. These are very cool looking cards. They use some really great artwork from the comic books. And this is the last time from Upper Deck that we're going to get an annual series. So, you know, if you're out there and you've collected some of the previous ones, maybe you want to get some of these too, just to, as a farewell for your collection. But uh, yeah, these are really cool and pick them up. $24.99, six packs, not a bad deal. Hit that link down below. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.